Today, 13 March 2018, the Economic and Financial Affairs ECOFIN Council of the European Union adopted the Council's conclusion on the EU's list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes. Three Caribbean jurisdictions, namely the Bahamas, St. Kitts and Nevis, the U.S. Virgin Islands, were listed. In December 2017, four Caribbean jurisdictions, Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, and Trinidad and Tobago, were named on the EU's list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes. Barbados and Grenada were removed from the list in January 2018. The EU previously indicated that its determination of whether a country is cooperative for tax purposes would be based on three criteria, including tax transparency, fair taxation, and implementation of anti-BEPS measures. In the case of St. Kitts and Nevis, the only area of concern for the EU is in respect of fair taxation, where a jurisdiction should have no preferential tax measures that could be regarded as harmful, and B, a jurisdiction should not facilitate offshore structures or arrangements aimed at attracting profits which do not reflect real economic activity in the jurisdiction. St. Kitts and Nevis was cited for what the EU considers a preferential tax regime, which refers mainly to the existing tax regime with respect to the provisions for offshore companies in the Federation. During the process of engaging with the EU, concrete commitments were made by the Federation to amend the relevant legislation to address the EU's concerns. The Federation remains optimistic that these commitments would persuade the EU partners to remove the Federation from the list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes and allow for a framework of cooperation and dialogue moving forward. St. Kitts and Nevis does not consider itself to be non-cooperative. On the contrary, the Federation remains committed to the international standards on transparency and exchange of information for tax purposes. This is an evidenced by a largely compliant rating by the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD. Further, St. Kitts and Nevis has continued to expand its exchange of information network and is a signatory to the Multilateral Convention on Mutual Administrative Assistance for Tax Matters. St. Kitts and Nevis signed and deposited the instrument of ratification for the convention on August 25, 2016. Additionally, legislation was passed by the National Assembly in December 2016 to provide for the implementation of the common reporting standards. The Federation also joined membership of the BEPS Inclusive Framework in November 2017 and is among 112 other jurisdictions that have committed to implementing the, BEPS, the anti-BEPS measures. It is important, very important, to note that members of the EU, such as Italy, Greece, Poland and Estonia, have also during the period 2016 to 2017 removed St. Kitts and Nevis from their national lists of non-cooperative jurisdictions, signifying their satisfaction with the Federation's efforts on transparency and exchange of information. Based on the commitments given by the St. Kitts and Nevis, by St. Kitts and Nevis to date, it is clear that St. Kitts and Nevis is a committed and fully cooperative jurisdiction in the context of international tax transparency. In addition, 
in respect of the commitment specifically given to the EU, we anticipate a series of actions to be taken to ensure that St. Kitts and Nevis addresses the EU's current concerns within the stipulated time frame of 31st December 2018. In this regard, St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to undertake a comprehensive review of its legislation with a view to addressing the deficiencies, including amending relevant legislation in accordance with best practice in international tax matters. Consequently, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis will ensure that stakeholders within the financial services sector and the wider general public will be consulted as to the endeavors to maintain, as we also endeavor to maintain a strong and vibrant financial services sector here in the Federation.